I love my work. The green and man. I shall not stop. The next thing I do, I'll clip the lady's ears off. I'll keep my word. Yeah. I'll see you reap Okay, okay. So what that book say, a historical report, the Rastafari movement in England. Then yeah. Norman Adams Jablu. Yeah. We're gonna look in there, you know. yeah. A historical report, the Rastafari the Rastafari movement in England. Yeah. Jablu. Okay. This book is dedicated to the ancient Patricia's Matrias and Martyrs of Rastafari. So I said the first name wrong. Yeah. Those and them that trod through great tribulation. Yeah. Also to my dear mother, a sister in of Rastafari. Yeah. Weaklings never start and cowards die on the way. A Rastafari proverb. Yeah. Is it me I say? And this one says no. An individual who does not utilize his energy to better his condition is like one who dismembers himself to depend only on things produced by the others does not bring complete happiness to enjoy the fruits of one's toil encourages and strengthens the creative spirit sustains one's pride and contributes in the most tangible way to security and happiness Emperor Selassie, Addis Ababa, 1949 Exposition. Let me ask you. See? Mm -hmm. This is the author of the book right here. So greetings, Jabi, you introduce yourself. So this is the author right there. Yeah. Marasta Elder in Addis. One of the, my mentors in Addis, name is Jabi, known all around, all around England, around the world of yeah. Lisboa of Africa. Yes, so I'm going to read your passage of his book, what we're promoting today. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. This is a speech by Marcus Messiah Giavi. It named the force that never fails. He said, the emperor of Ethiopia will fight on by himself, but by the guidance of the power, divine power, and for that, were the Almighty, he has triumphed in his diplomacy. He stands and is the omnipotent of the world who have been able to control all races and religious, all religious righteousness. Mm -hmm. of of cause and almost time to mind action in the presentation of the cause this is only the first triumph but is illustrious of the fifth victory it's a scattered and dispersed Africa has not only her sympathy but the allegiance of the Emperor of Abyssinia, the vice of Africa, will never silence. It beckons in the spirit of life. Africa call will never be silent. It beckons that life are removal to <clears throat> and superstitiously the blocks of Africa for the United States in the West Indies. Soulful Central Africa, Central America, Europe, and all parts of 
the mother continent went up, not only in, in supplication, but in a vow destruction to see the victory, the empty victory put down. Mussolini laughed before his, from his barbaric mind. He cast the sea in the glory that alighted through military province. He mightily, <coughs> his military forces has been, he has misread the confidence <coughs> of man that he is only <coughs> challenging man in God. That he only challenge my but God, but accept the challenge of God and would only be destiny of man. No sacrilegious pump in Rome with Mussolini and the Italians. No miscarriage of just truth will, will but and the empathy, the sympathy the vile people La Abyssinia, therefore, eighty powers serve in the land of Gideon, but they became a transparent against presumptuous victory force of the enemy. So shall I receive of Ethiopia back to his glory and inspire the black man to to Ethiopia back to the glory so that he inspire the black man in Ike's and more worshiping <coughs> in his by the fig tree. You may say that, sir? Mm -hmm. So shall everyone command about them own vine and fig tree. Mark mm -hmm. up myself here for the black man, volume 12. That's a, beautiful, that's a beautiful piece of reading right there, Javi. Yeah, because like I said, really, most men never realize, say, Javi, yeah, because I'm early action and I'm utterance against His Majesty. Mm -hmm. You know, them say Gavi never check with his majesty. Mm -hmm. But in the end, you can still say Gavi did check with his majesty. That was a very important thing what you said to me that just a couple of days ago and that like reason there. So when, is it Leonard Owl? When he yeah. went, what happened there with God when he, got, he went back to, the um, New York, yeah, Harlem. which was Leonard. Yes, yeah, Leonard, because Leonard actually witnessed the coronation, you know. That's right, that's that's it. That's the his knowledge majesty. I want you to yeah. Yes, Leonard witnessed the coronation of his majesty. He was the only Jamaican that was there apart from 72 nations. Mm -hmm. And what him see must have been it was the glory of Solomon. Okay. We really are witness because as we had said now, weep not for the old line of the tribe of Judah that is in Revelation 5. Mm -hmm. So he witnessed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when him come back in full of enthusiasm, so when him come forward, him coming at Ethiopia, in, from Ethiopia, him stopping at Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when him stopping at Ghana, I write a book named The Promised Key. Mm -hmm. You know? So anyway, he went straight to Harlem because he was a member of Marcus organization. Okay. And he see Marcus and he said to Marcus, say, Marcus, I see the man, you know. Mm -hmm. Marcus said, who you talk? He said, I see Christ, he come forward again. Mm -hmm. So Marcus said, no, I'm not talking him. 
I'm talking the Christ from 2,000 years before the black Christ, you know? Mm -hmm. We go through the crucifixion. Well, how oh, will I say, well, me see, me just see me in the high two up here there, because me just a come from the coronation. Mm -hmm. So, Marcus said, well, no, it wasn't even my talk. But anyway, I oh, will never really keep up no more argument with him, you know? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he was on a mission as well, because he realized he must share this, this knowledge. That's right. Back in a Jamaica against him people. Eh? Like a, the messenger. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? So, first meet him, keep him, keep a coronation market. Mm -hmm. A man, a man named Hines, he was him second really. Yes. And our next man was there to Joseph Nathaniel Ebert. He was a, okay. a spiritualist from Costa Rica. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. And this is the history that they don't know about what needs to be told. No, no. And a lot of this history is, 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 is there. But, but, you, have to, but you have to research. Yeah. You have to do research. That's right. You know? Because after that night, you know, consider it says coronation market. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's a coronation market. It's a place where enough people are supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The turnout wasn't really too good, really. So... The next time he decides to well, go and stay at home, really, in a film district, mm -hmm. which is Trinityville, mm -hmm. you know, see? Mm -hmm. Right? And that part of Jamaica, really, is it, more rural. So, the eastern side of the island. So, anyway, about 500 people turned out the night. Okay. You know, and everybody was joyful, and even the police was there. Mm -hmm. Because in them time they really Britain was Britain ruled Jamaica direct. That's right. That's right. And I see, it never get independent. Mm -hmm. So everything was on the British government really. So from there, so really, how we start the people them start take the rest of our right. Mm -hmm. You know, see it, and the movement start to grow. By the sixties, how we even come on and and done in time because when we. When he went to Pinnacle, mm -hmm. that was the peak of, of oil time, really, within the Rastafari movement. Okay. And as you know, several really, if you manage a group of people which was uneducated and, you know, it, it take a tile for him, really, because after a while, the police them come and mash up Pinnacle because them claim the Rasta man from Pinnacle. I get and rule them going to people all steep them things and them way there. Mm -hmm. But that was very much to deal with, you know, mm -hmm. in a, the, the pinnacle part of I'm liberty really. Mm -hmm. But in a, the end really because I want to tell you something, you know, mm -hmm. or we we'll drop out the same time as Bob Marley, the same year Bob Marley buried, 1981. Okay. Yes, him just come and just <coughs> him, him just put on him clothes <coughs> and to the history, say. Eh? Mm -hmm. Go in a hotel and come out the next morning and nobody not see him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was so old. But at that time, you know, Bob, death, Bob ascendancy come in a short time. You know, within five years, Bob moved from obscurity to international stardom. So you, you have your own history, personal history of Bob Marley, yes? Yeah, well... Bob was my brethren really, you mm -hmm. can't say that because mm -hmm. differently, you know, all I get to know Bob is Rico. Mm -hmm. One day I come from work and Rico said to me, say, 